<laughs> Hello, I'm Arlene and I'm back again with another video. I was trying to be a little extra to let y'all see that we're going to be talking about Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale. So this is really my second third day <laughs> of going to the semi-annual sale okay i'm gonna try to do it no it's not gonna be in order anyway i um I went to the semi-annual sale on, I think it was Saturday. I don't think I went on Friday. I think it began on Friday, but I didn't go on Friday. I think I went on Saturday or Sunday. I know I went before my 20% um, coupon expired. So whatever day that was. I had a huge order. What I did for the first day, I just picked up everything I think I might want with the intention of I knew a lot of the stuff was going back because I knew I wasn't keeping all of that. So I did keep a bunch. I showed you a bunch. I did not show you the things that I took back. So I had to go back to the store to return um, those items. So on that day, when I was walking in, I noticed... I don't know what day I got that. I noticed the dark kiss shower gel this one is dirty anyway i noticed the dark kiss shower gel and so i picked that up really quick thinking that i had the dark kiss fragrance mist at the house from a while ago i just never used it okay so on another day I walked in to one of the Bath and Body Works. I saw the Dark Kiss Lotion, so I picked that up. So something told me to go check and make sure that I had the Dark Kiss Fragrance Mist. So when I went to check, I had a fragrance mist, all right, but it's the Midnight Pomegranate. So for whatever reason, I thought I had picked up the Dark Kiss months ago, but it's the Midnight Pomegranate, and I haven't seen anything to match this, which is fine. So then I had to go back to the store, which was today, and get the Dark Kiss fragrance mist. I was able to find it. I had to go to two different stores because the store I thought it was at, it was not. I had to go to another one. But I got the Dark Kiss fragrance mist, which is black raspberry, burgundy rose, bergamot incense, dark vanilla bean, plum musk. This has see if I have anything sprayed on my hand. If I did, it's gone now. This has a very deep, perfumey, I want to say raspberry. Did I say raspberry? Yes, raspberry note to me. It smells good to me. It smells almost like perfume. It smells like it'll have a pretty good, um, it's, longevity and a pretty good throw people might think that it's um like too much for a fragrance mist i like it i can see wearing it in times that you might be in a pinch that you don't have perfume just put that on and you'll be smelling good but what i did notice is that it put me in the mind of my Lancome La Oui Treasure perfume 
because of the incense, because of the raspberry, because of the deep scents, scent. It has a little bit of smokiness. Like the La Wheat. So I think if you have La Wheat perfume and you love it, you like it, try out the Dark Kiss. I think you'll really like that also. It's not a dupe. It's not exactly the same. Nothing like that. It's just reminiscent of it. Because it does have the raspberry, it does have rose, and it does have incense. Even though this is bergamot incense, I don't know what kind of incense um, La Wheat has. And it has vanilla. So three of the key things is the raspberry, the rose, and the vanilla bean. So, I know I'm going to enjoy using the dark, <laughs> the dark kiss. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? This Midnight Pomegranate has notes of ruby red pomegranate, sparkling cassius, white jasmine, blackberry spice, and patchouli. From these notes alone, this automatically put me in the mind of Giorgio Armani C. Because of the cassius, I don't know if it has jasmine, but the blackberry spice cassius and blackberry is pretty much the same because the cast the cassius is like the leaves from the blackberry and then the patchouli so i bet these will go pretty good together even let me get back on task okay so we're talking about the things that i got from the semi-annual sale all over the place. So the black, the dark kiss is 75% off. I don't know. Let's see if I can find the right receipts. Okay, so it does have one of the dark kiss items on here. So I got it for 387. And I got these for 387. I've been hearing so much talk on YouTube. I've been influenced by the influencers, even though I'm supposed to be an influencer. Okay. <laughs> so, I've been hearing so much talk on YouTube about this Joy Sugar Snickerdoodle. It was never on my radar, but I keep hearing about it. I've heard about it ever since Christmas time. So, I said, well, let me pick it up and give it a try. And I smelled it. And it has a sweet, creamy cookie type scent with a little bit of spice more so um sweet like vanilla or in the vanilla family so the notes are snickerdoodle spice creamy vanilla sugared musk it's one of those fragrances that i think that will mix with a lot of things um you can sweeten them up and if all else fails i'll wear it in the month of december so that is Joy Snickerdoodle. Also, one of the things I got as I was walking through looking for the Dark Kiss and returning items, I went on and pick up, picked up the Fresh Coconut and Cotton. So many people have been talking about it on YouTube. Once again, I've been influenced. I don't know if it's on this receipt or not. Let's see. I think these were on the 75% off table. So that's what I'm trying to see. Not on there. And now I have to go through these. I may not. I just, I just know I did get these. I believe it was 75%. I don't want to tell you the wrong thing, though. That's why I'm trying to look it up. I think those were one of the returns. 
let me talk about my returns for a minute. So I have a big, long paper here that I bought all the items on, okay? Long enough where y'all can't even see where it ends. This was the one I had. So when I went back to return the items, I don't know what was wrong with the with the cashier. She scanned it, but then she was saying like half of the items that I was returning was not on the sheet. Was not it was not coming up. I don't know what the deal was, but most of the items is on here and I have four items on one other receipt, which she was able to do easily. But when it came to this long receipt, she could not find the items. So she had to get help. It was just a whole thing where it was like, you got one receipt, everything should have came up. And then she was like, well, I can just do them as even exchanges. And I was like, no, you cannot. Because the items that I picked up were off the 75% off table. And I was like, I'm not going to allow you to charge me um, more than what, I mean, I should say, I'm not going to allow you to not give me all the money that, I was, that I'm supposed to get back for items that are cheaper. Because a lot of the items that I turned back in was the 50% off items, not the 75% off items. And the items that I picked up was 75% off items. So I was like, no, these cannot be even exchanges. And then I was like, if you can pick out the ones that were on the 75% off table and even exchange like that, that's fine. She didn't know what was the 75% off table. I don't know, when I was in retail, I knew where stuff was at, what the prices were. I was up on it. So I don't know. It's kind of odd. But that was my little ordeal with her. And it's not on here either. Okay. Back to fresh cotton and coconut. I believe this was 75% off. I couldn't find it right quick for you. The notes are coconut. Is that a comma? Yep. Coconut, coastal breezes, and beachside cotton. I didn't even smell it because I said it was on the freshies. I think I did smell it before when it came out. But I'm thinking I was not impressed in the store. And then I went on and bought the white t-shirt because everybody was raving and screaming and hollering and loving the white t-shirt. I didn't think it was all that until I got it home and used it and fell in love. So that might be the same thing that happens here. This just smells fresh to me. And I think it might end up just being one of those fragrances that I can throw on. It's going to be, you know, that hot weather is here. Throw on, be hot. I mean, not hot, but be fresh and with a sweet smell. Just an easy one to put on. So I have a friend that did an order for me. And, well, she was doing an order, so I asked her to add the... um lotion or not the lotion but the moisturizer to her um order and she did so i'll be getting the moisturizer in the mail in a few and because i love the way that the white t-shirt mixes with ariana grande's cloud i probably would also like the way that it mixed with the um fresh coconut and cotton so I'll be trying that out. Oh, another thing. What I noticed I like um, with some of my freshies that I have, my freshies um, perfumes. A lot of times I like to mix them with something that's a little bit sweet. And I like them better. Like this Please Please. I like to mix this with maybe something fruity. Most of the times it's something fruity sweet, but it might be good with something like this. I'm gonna mix them up to see what happens. Mm. 
Yeah, it just gives like a little bit of fresh sweet. Because this one has a bit of rose in it. Even though I kind of put it on the fresh side, it may not be all that fresh to a lot of people because it, it does have a rose note. That smells pretty good. Um, also, I got some candles for 75% off. What is the price on these? Hopefully, I picked up the right ticket. I did. This is $3.87. This is the Island Margarita in the single wick candle. They actually had lots of them. But I was like, I'm taking a back step. I don't want to spend all this money all over again buying all of these um, candles. But the Island Margarita, I do have a, I think I have a big candle in this. I haven't used it yet. So that I, I wanted to get candles and stuff, which I did. But I didn't want to go too crazy because I already have a nice collection of candles that I have not been going through very quickly. So like everything else, I don't want to go overboard. But I did get the one Island Margarita candle for 75% off. And I got a candle that I remember people raving about, which is the Blueberry Sugar candle. I think this was out at Christmas time or Thanksgiving or something like that. And I remember them saying that it had a really good throw. It smells nice and sweet and blueberry-ish. I don't think I got the notes on this. No, I think this is one of the candles that they put out so you can smell when you're looking at the wallflowers. And I don't remember the notes on this either. But the notes... For the blueberry sugar candle is sweet blueberries, brown sugar, grand cracker crust. I smell the sweetness and the fruitiness. I really don't smell any graham cracker crust, but that's okay. It smells good to me and I'm glad to have it. I got this for 75% off. So... I paid six thirty seven. Yeah, six thirty seven. So I don't know what I paid two eleven for. Oh, that I also, which is in my car, also bought some um what do you call those things? The antibacterial wipes. And that was, I think it was called Chris Morning Air or something like that. So that's the one I kept looking at, like, what is this? And I paid two eleven for that. And that's like a package of 30 antibacterial wipes. So, yeah. Then... Did I go in there yesterday? I think I went in there yesterday. I know I've been in there a few days. Okay, so then I got this one from being influenced by the YouTubers. This is another, um, the Snowflakes and Cashmere is another one that I pulled off of the um, please look at that. I guess that's right. That I pulled off the 75% off table. I have so many. Okay. So, yes, I pulled these off the 75% off table. So, I found the receipt with the fresh coconut. It was 412 
and hmm, maybe these cost a little bit more because they were 412 yes i guess the original price on the fresh coconut cotton fresh cotton and coconut fresh coconut and cotton lord fresh coconut and cotton fragrance mist that was 1650 as well as the snowflakes and cashmere fragrance mist and body cream these were also 412 so i got the fragrance mist and the body cream i did smell these a bit it's just very soft but the fragrance notes on here are vanilla cashmere cream caramel woods frost and clementine this is one of those fragrances that i think that will mix with everything or anything because lots of perfumes have um an orange note in it not necessarily clementine note and a lot of fragrance, um, fragrances have cashmere in or vanilla in them. Okay, so what I did notice with this snowflakes and cashmere, because I just got the mock block, I'm not going to go get it. For those of you that know, know, there's a perfume called Signature Mock Block. This snowflakes and cashmere smells pretty similar it put me in the mind of it so i think that is something that i will mix together will be that because it's nice and soft creamy has a little bit of an orange scent but it's sweet and to me that would be a nice layering combination so with that excuse my rambling rambliness today <laughs> or maybe it's like this all the time i feel like i was kind of all over the place but these are the things that i got in my last um last two bath and body sass pickups put this up front blueberry sugar can i hold all of this <laughs> that's all the fragrance mist and my two candles so, I don't know what this came up to, but I did get pretty decent for, um, prices. And I also have some lotions and some washes. I didn't buy washes for everything. I was like, I think I'm going overboard with the washes and the um, moisturizers. So, I did continue to buy a couple of moisturizers, but I did not buy the... Um, body washes for everything i'm usually a dove girl and we're gonna try to keep it simple and not buy every piece to every scent that i like okay so hello to all the new subscribers and um welcome thank you for watching thanks to all the other subscribers please share please keep sharing um, checking in, leaving comments, pressing the bell, pressing the thumbs up, thumbs down. It doesn't really matter. It's just about engagement. But leave those likes. Leave some comments. Share with your friends. I'm continually asking you to let's grow this channel. We're trying to get to a thousand. It's going to take a while, but... I would love to see continual growth on this channel. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the 
um, the items that I have and the video. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.